wipers on your steering wheel, heated screen, heated screen, headlights is going to be off the panel, but are you going to be using headlights from off here? So what are we doing here? You're probably asking, well, guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Building the Fastest with Haltech. And today we are wiring. So when you push the pass, push the pass, that's going to go to the ECU, isn't it? It's not going to go here. No, it's supposed to go to the ECU. So we've got a button there. Uh, that's page up. That was basically a pass. It's a bit of a mind. Well, I didn't want to use word fuck because, you know, advertisers don't like swearing words. But it's it's easy, at the same time, very difficult. It's easy because Haltech make it extremely easy by providing you with all of this information. So all the instructions are very extensive and everything is color coded and actually clearly written. But because there is so much of it and not only we are using two PDMs, we're using the obviously ECU that is going to be mounted here. ECU controls a lot of things. PDM controls a lot of things. ECU is talking to PDM. The PDM is controlling things that ECU is controlling. And then you have CAN devices that sort of connect between each other and everything is being sort of communicated through different panels that have button switches. And also there's a lot of wires. I mean, the the basic loom that I have, I have two looms for the PDM that basically are five meter long pre-terminated loom. By pre-terminated loom, what I mean is the loom is already has the plugs on one side. So those are connect to your PDM, those connect to your ECU. An extremely handy feature, which again highlights how easy this should be if you are a professional wiring expert. Um, all the inputs, everything is labeled. So all the bundles of wires like AVI, your 12, DC, AVI 1. Ah, Jesus Christ. Um, so everything is on there as long as you understand how to read it all. Uh, we kind of understand. That's the reason why Edward, the, the team boss. I'm sorry, Tammy, you are the main team boss. He is just a male version. He's the cook. He is the cook. Let's be honest. He is the cook who knows yeah, how to wash spaghetti at the moment. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Spag, spag ball. Um, so yeah, he very kindly insisted actually one day. And yesterday when I said, "Do you remember when you said you want to come and help?" He was like, "Did I?" I'm like, "Yes, yes, you did." Anyways, Eddie is really good with wires. You've seen him before in some of the videos where he was repairing some of my. Um, shady 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 workmanship and he was fixing it um anyways we're basically just going through the loom so what we've done so far um we've categorized and made a list of all the things that we need for the pdm side of things so all the things like your indicators your brake light your tail light the front light um uh, washer bottle heater screen starter wipers all of that so we have everything written down as a list on the haltech sort of wiring diagram slash notes sort of uh, piece of paper. So what we have to do now is we find whatever the the wire corresponds to whatever the inputs in there, obviously write it down the color and everything. And then all is left is you run a length of that wire through the car you measure. You terminate it, put a plug on it, start the car and you send it. <laughs> a very peculiar thing we just found. Um, it gave us a little bit of a confusion and we were like, why do we have extra wires? Basically, Haltech, bloody thought of everything. So there's a an out that is called HCO, so high currency output. And it had extra three wires. Three three, three wires, wires and color. with the with the same same color. So we're like, why are they the same color? Because first we thought that maybe they put it from a different bundle of um, uh, inputs and stuff so we started tracing them and it was like no we, we everything else is accounted for so then we went back into the the plug itself and they're all coming out of number three and number three is co1 so what haltech has done they're basically giving you three lengths of wire that go to the same output for your headlights so you can run from the same loom without splicing anything extra you sort of already pre-split so one or two, one, probably one goes to the back and one goes, uh, two goes to the front. So very simple. But Eddie's just always tempted to just chop things off. I'm not. 
There you are, you just said let's just chop everything off. No, it says I, I, I want to. I mean, look at that spaghetti. Yeah, it seems like we are getting somewhere, probably. I mean, nowhere near where we need to be. Um, what I wanted to show you is how I make my looms. I'm saying like I make my looms like I'm literally doing 10 looms a week. This is, um, second. This is, this is my second <laughs> loom. And I mean, granted, the first one I've done worked wonderful. It lasted about well, five years, never had any issues. It has been added on and repaired quite a few times because I've, I had to, you can never make it right the first time. And I always say to everyone, guys, top tip from Rasky today. When you're making your own loom, run at least two or three extra wires inside the loom. Literally, all you have to do is just kind of coil it like that and leave it inside. Leave it inside because trust me, at some point in time, you will want to add something to it. And if you already run a wire on the inside of your loom, all you have to do is just remember where you kind of left the loop. You cut it open and then you take it out and then it's already kind of already run through your bulkhead, through all of your wrapping and everything. So this way you don't need to sort of you know unwrap it or run a loose wire. And I've done it on the previous loom. I had three wires for the engine side and I had two wires for the inside. I've used them all. So, top tip. But yeah, uh, pegboard, that's industry standard kind of stuff. Obviously, at factories, they use much bigger sort of things and they have different hooks and they're really, really long. Um, all you need is just a plywood board like that. You sort of... Uh, put where everything is supposed to be on the car and then you just measure. I just use a piece of wire and loosely measure where everything goes. So for example, this is ACU if you can imagine. And this is the length it's gonna go to the firewall. So I know that this is the one that I need, I don't need to loop any wires from. So where it actually separates here, as you can see, it's gonna go into two different, different looms. There's only one wire on this side, but they will be added. So effectively, it will split into two looms right after the firewall because this is going to go on one side of the engine. This is your coils, injectors, uh, cam sensor, uh, uh, everything else. And the other side is going to split and it's going to go along the firewall right under the wiper motor to the other side where we have crank sensor. It's going to have uh, fuel pressure and temperature sensor. It's going to have uh, other sensors which I can't really remember right now. So it just helps and I know where everything. So for example, this corner I measured, this is where it's actually gonna bend. So I know roughly if I need to splice something or for example, if at this bend, this is basically right at the end of the firewall, right there. So I know that at this corner, if I need a wire to go to that side or down, all I have to do, and it really helps for wrapping it afterwards. So all I have to do is the wire will go from here like that. So then I know that I can bundle it up until there. And then if this wire goes this way, then I bundle this bundle of joy, spaghetti, and then I bundle this bu bu uh, bundle of joy. So as you can see here, for example, so they all will split from here. So then all I have to do is you bundle this separately, this separately, and this obviously they would have to go separately. So you have four, for example. I mean, obviously this is not finished, but you, you get the point. So this will have four separate bundles, um, as in wrapped together. But then from this point, they don't need to be separate. So from here, you'll have all in one uh, conduit. Same goes from here. And this is all of your bands. And this is basically where it's going to sort of bend under the sort of the, the turbo intake pipe. So it definitely helps. And you measure and it makes it easy because all you need to do is just some 80 mil, 100 mil sort of uh, screws into the wall and then label everything label everything masking tape and a marker is your best friend because trust me with this spaghetti even those wires we've just categorized them so the spis avis all the inputs that we need um right now it looks really messy because we didn't cut them but you still put avi spi because as soon as you take them out out of this loom luckily haltech do sort of label it for you but if you're making your own loom trust me to forget where each wire sort of goes is like this for example you see spares that's basically what I was saying about run extra spare wires of course Haltech loom has those because I, I don't need eight coils I'm only going to run four coils but I'm not going to cut those wires out because I know they basically go from the loom already pre-terminated and it's already determined which sort of pin there is already on the inside so yeah this should take us 10 minutes to complete. 
go. Get the speaker box loud. Hitting that stuff till you hearing that sound. And that's how you make a loom. <laughs> but don't go anywhere because I'm going to be showing you a little bit more, obviously. Um, so the first one is kind of done. Um, yeah, uh, laborious process of sort of categorizing and going through everything. And we put the first connector. Some may say it's a little bit too soon. I personally think it's a little bit too soon because plugs is usually generally your last thing. You run every wire, but because this is the intermediate plug, um, because obviously this is your PDM side of things and this is your sort of front loom that sits in front of the car and then you have to run the back loom and the back loom is going to be obviously separate so we're going to have two or three of those plugs so this one is for uh, lights, indicators and brake, brake lights. lights and then we're going to have another one for the fuel pump side of things and obviously you can disconnect it so I could literally you unplug those two and your rear loom is completely detachable um, so it's okay. In that case, we basically just spliced those wires together um, for now. So the next step is... Finding some wires to go from there for the indicators. Stop complaining. There's a whole box of wires. I want them the same color. What do you mean same color? I want them the same color. You want this color? Get out of the other box. So what we've done now, we actually kind of sacrificed another loom that I have uh, for the wires because it's always a good idea to have all color-coded wires. Previously, I ran all the same color or whatever, and then I had a little legend uh, sort of written down which color I went. But as long as you have the legend and you remember it's fresh in your mind, then it's all good. Two, three years down the line, like when I was taking the loom apart, you completely forget what goes where and it's a pain in the butt. So now what we need to do, and it's actually a really good idea, I've never done it myself, but Eddie clearly is a professional in, in this field. Um, we're basically checking con continuity, so we plugged it in there. Which color? Green. And now we're putting one to the green. Perfect. Sweet. Another Sweet. top tip. Uh, it's not even a tip, it's just I've seen it being used. What you do, you put your wires into your drill and you slowly... And they're all straight. When you go around a corner, you can have a, a, a short, a long one and a short one and it can break. Yes, daddy. Makes sense. Do you understand? Because it's got a bend in it already, it can bend easier. Mm. Top tip from a Chinaman. He doesn't just sell halal food to restaurants. He, he makes your racing wiring looms and also cooks amazing egg fried rice. The next day. We've kind of been through the bulk of it, to be honest with you guys. It's taking longer than expected, but... Uh, mainly because I'm quite picky and trying to sort of categorize and every, everything and there's there are ways of doing it easier but unfortunately I don't really know this engine I don't really know all the sensors so it's back and forth with messages with some people who are better know than me to find out what actually is needed and what actually the ECU is capable of I would say that's the the main issue and I would love to make a wiring tutorial but I can't because I don't really know things myself. So I might actually make a video a little bit later where I'll actually explain how I've used everything. But all is left, well by all is left, uh, everything is left. I still need to run some 12 volt feeds, 5 volt feeds. Uh, all the sensor grounds are pretty much there. All the wires except for radiator fan and water pump uh, feeds are there. Um, so yeah, effectively this is your kind of loom, so to speak. Uh, 